Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to paint on tissue paper. You know, the tissue paper that comes in your uh, gift wrapping and all of that. And um, one of my students, Judy, had asked me to paint this little reindeer that I did over the holidays. And I'm going to do two samples right now for you. And one of them is going to be on a cardstock, like watercolor paper, which is going to be this. And then the other one is going to be on a little white piece of wood that I had. First thing we're going to do is I have a drawing of my reindeer. And what I'm going to do is put my little tissue paper over my reindeer. Like that. And I trace some of it so that you can see it to save time. But I'm going to take a really sharp point, ultra fine point Sharpie black. And I'm going to trace that design onto my tissue paper. Right? And there's my little reindeer. Okay, so I'm going to move my notebook out. You don't need that anymore. So here's my tracing of the reindeer. Well, the other thing I'm going to use is what I call, whoops, regular gel mat. And um, what you, if you don't have regular gel mat at home, I know this is expensive. You can take Elmer's glue, the regular stuff that your kids use for school, and mix three quarters water and one quarter Elmer's glue and you only need like this much of it and mix it really good for about a minute and then what we're going to do is the first one we're going to do is uh, this one here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this paper onto here but I don't want it to be like really perfect so I'm just going to crinkle it a little bit and then lay it on my paper to see where I'm going to put him right so I'm going to take this little line to, to say that this is going to be the edge, right? So with the gel mat, what I do is I take a little bit of that gel mat and I'm going to put it on my surface. And it doesn't matter how it goes on as long as you have enough up there on there. If it's a little bit too dry and it drags, even your Elmer's glue, see it can get really thick. Just take a little bit of water, not too much, and put it on here. And what it does is it spreads it out, right? Don't use Mod Podge. If you use Mod Podge, what happens is Mod Podge has like a little shiny thing um, to its uh, formula. And when you put it on there, it kind of shines and it makes it hard for the paint to roll. So keep stay away from Mod Podge. So I'm going to kind of line my little reindeer here. Oh, he was upside down. And I'm going to put him on here, right? And I hope he's straight for you guys. And even if the paper wrinkles, see that? It doesn't matter. I'm just going to press it down. Come on the edges here with my wet brush. Put some of that on there. And don't worry if the edges are kind of stuck. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take that and rip it off. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'll wait until the video's over. You already know how to do that. So that's my little reindeer on the wood board. Now on the watercolor paper, same thing. But this one is going to be a little bit more watery. I'm going to take my matte medium or my Elmer's glue mix. Doesn't matter. And I'm going to put it all over my little watercolor paper. And I'm going to take my reindeer and I'm going to put it on here. And it doesn't matter if the paper is bigger or smaller. I'm just going to brush it out. Press it down so that it's a little bit wrinkly. And same thing. I'm going to take the edge of the paper. And after we do the demo, I'll cut it off. I already showed you how to do that. But just press down on the edge of it, just like I did the other one. And go slow and rip it. And if it comes... And it rips over here like mine did. That's even better because it gives it a little character. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this part. You don't need that. And I'm using two kinds of paints, but you don't need to. You can do acrylics. I'm using some of my watercolor paints that I have only because I have them. And this is kind of like a little brown burnt sienna color. But any kind of little brown that you have will work fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we know that the little reindeer is kind of brown. So we're just going to brush that on here, right? And that's a little face. 
and that's a little reindeer, right? So let me do the other one so we can do them together. And I'm going to put this one. And you can see that with the wood, it gets, the color goes in a little bit deeper because the surface is a little bit sturdier than watercolor paper. But it still can be done. Oh, and I'm going to do the ears. Forgot to do the ears on the other one. So see, it's like painting in a coloring book. You don't need to do, you know, much more than that. And we know the little body of the reindeer is also brown. So I'm going to come here under his little scarf and do my brown. And as you can see, some of it is starting to look wrinkled already, which is really cool if you ask me. Okay, so there's my little body. There's my little face. And there's my little ear. Okay, so let me do that with the other one. This is the one on the watercolor paper. So I'm going to do his little body. Now, what happens if we have the paper ending here and here? Nothing. I just bring it down. Come on this side, do the same thing. And when we put color in the background, you won't even notice that there's a difference in the line. See that? I'm going to put a little bit more color on here. But without doing too much effort, you already have color on your little reindeer, right? So now we know that the little reindeer's nose is red, but I'm not going to color that in first because since the surface is a little bit wet, I don't want my red to bleed in into my um, reindeer nose. So I'm going to take a small round brush. That may be too big for some of you, so I'll take a smaller one. I'll take that one if you feel confident. This is a number six silver ruby satin. And I'm going to move my palette now to my acrylic paints. And I have a little bit of light red uh, for the nose. And I can do the scarf red and white, but I'm, I'm going to do him green so that we have some contrast. So I'm going to take some light green paint and I'm going to come here and fill that out. And this is just regular acrylic paints. And I'm just coloring just as if I had a coloring book. See, nothing too special. Okay, and then I'm going to put the little lines going down the opposite way. And we have a scarf. And I'm going to put a little green there. I think it needs to match the other side. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm going to put some little squares here in light green. And leave the white in between. I'm going to come here and do my other little green. My other little green here, I'm going to do this one differently. I'm going to do this one sideways, but you can do it whichever way you like. Okay, and then this one here, I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to do a little bit here on top. So now at least we have some of that light green. And now we need a little bit of a darker green to shade it. So while my brush is still wet, I have some dark green here on my palette. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that color and go to one side of my scarf and darken it and if you're going to do the right side do everything on the right side don't do right side left side do everything on the same side so see now we have it a little bit shaded right and let's take the other one on the watercolor paper do the same thing i'm going to take the right side of my scarf. I'm going to do this one the other way. Okay, so now we have the scarf. If you want to add color later to the scarf here, that's fine. Don't worry about it. But now I'm going to take my red, light red paint and paint the reindeer's nose red. And it doesn't matter that I have all those pen marks on there. That's pretty cool. Take a little bit of your dark red, put it underneath. If it's not dark enough, pick up a little bit of purple or blue and make it a little bit dark. See that? Let's do it on the wood. And see how easy this is? I mean, I'm not really working very hard at this. Here's my light red. I'm going to round it really good. I'm going to take a little bit of my dark blue and I'll put the colors on the video. So don't worry about it. So you'll have them ahead of time. 
So now our little antlers, our little nose is dark. Now the antlers on this little reindeer, we want to make him a little bit darker than the body. So I'm going to take my little brown paint, my little light brown paint. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of my dark blue. And that's going to make my antlers a little bit darker. And let it dry whichever way it wants. So I'm going to shade a little bit here with that. I'm going to shade a little bit here. I'm going to take a little bit more of that dark brown that we're using. And I'm going to come here and shade a little bit of the reindeer's face. And around this little scarf area. And I'm going to wipe my brush. And then I'm going to walk out my paint so we don't have a really strong line. See that? I'm going to do the same thing under the scarf. Ooh, that one came out a little bit too dark. Don't like it. So I'm just going to rub it off, take a little bit more of my brown and mix it in there much better. And I don't necessarily have to cover the whole body. I just want a little bit of a transition between the light and the dark colors. So, and I'm just using a little bit of dark blue, believe it or not, to make my shading. And I know it's a little bit early for Christmas, but, you know, we got to have some cheer of some kind right now, right? So, he's starting to look like something. Now we want to put a little bit more color here over his eyes. So I'm going to do it a little bit on the top here. And that's kind of a little shading. And I'm going to put a little shading over the nose. Remember, we're calling this one Judy. Okay. So now, this here is too even. And this is the mistake that a lot of people do. So what I do is I just brush it out. And let the paper create a texture on them. Okay. I'm going to take the one on my watercolor paper and do the same thing. And I'm going to come here and do the same thing. Come over here. So you see, you don't need to have a whole bunch of colors to do this. You can just very easily do. And like I said, the reason why we're having these sessions with paint with what you have is because I'm literally trying to get you to paint with whatever materials you have at home. Don't think that because you don't have the materials on hand, you can't do this project. I'm showing you how you can adapt to anything. And um, a lot of you that have taken classes with me know that I was a stay-at-home mom for a long time. And I had to be very careful of how I spent my money. So I painted on anything I can find. The old coffee pots, mugs, you name it. It didn't matter. If I if the paint took, it was painted. I painted on suitcases. As a matter of fact, my kids, when we would go out in the car, and I would go by on a trash pickup day, and I would see a suitcase on the side of the road, my kids would say, Mommy, Mommy, please don't stop. Leave the suitcase there, please. And I would say, Anthony, run out and grab that suitcase. Hurry up. Mom, I'm not going to do that. So I would have to wind up grabbing the suitcase off of the trash. But let me tell you, I painted them and sold them. So there's something to be said about some people's trash or other people's treasures. Okay, so now I think the background is a little bit too plain, the color it is. And you know me, I don't like to add a lot of color to something uh, because then it kind of gets distracted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my big brush again. And I'm going to wet my background, but I'm not going to go too close to my reindeer. This is just going to be on the outside area here. And I'm going to take a little bit of that blue that I was using. Um, no, not the blue, the color. I'm going to use a little bit of the red to give me a little bit of... And when I mean a little bit, I mean, see that? There's nothing on there. Just a little bit. And let the water walk it around. This side is dry, so I'm just going to use the excess on here on the background. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my green and put it on here on the edges just to give it a little bit of 
shine and I'm working fast on the background because I don't want it to bleed everywhere okay almost done on this one let's do the opposite just to see how it looks I'm gonna do the light green on the background And you see all this loose paper here? Once this dries, take an emery board and just, you know, go on the sides and shave it a little bit and it will come right off. And I'm going to take a little bit of my red and come here, clean my brush and walk it out. Let it bleed in there. And what I like about it is that with the little colors on the um, paper, it blends in pretty good. A little bit more green. Okay, and last but not least, remember to send me your ideas of what you would like me to paint because I'll name it after you. We have a big announcement next week of some free artwork that we're going to be giving away. So stay tuned. And we're also going to be starting some online classes uh, that are going to be a little bit more elaborate and we're going to provide the uh, kits that go with it. So now what I did is I took a little bit of my um, brush and I diluted a little bit of water in some of that dark blue paint. And I'm going to just hit it here and there to give it a little bit of color. Do the same with this little guy. Okay. So I would call this done. And like I said, remember... We're going to put them side by side, like my cameraman says, so that you can see. And like I said, all of this color, all this paper will come off. If you want to make these areas darker, you can. If you want to add a little color in here. But this is what the reindeer is going to look like. And like I said, next week, watch out on Facebook. I will have some announcements. I'm giving away seven works of art. And I will have some online videos. And uh, give me your ideas of what you would like to see me paint next. And hopefully everybody has a good weekend. Stay safe. And I'll see you next week. Same time, same place.